Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. What's up guys, so I'm actually starting this video backwards because I already filmed everything today but I decided to make this video an update on everything and by everything I mean my vehicle list and my plans basically for everything. So last you guys heard or I talked about in any of the videos, the 350 motor blew and I planned on selling the 350. After like so many low balls and everything as as a rolling chassis, it's really not worth much as a rolling chassis even though it has a clean title and everything set except for the motor no one wants to pay like over two thousand dollars for a clean chassis i guess no one's looking to do the work so i haven't really got that many good offers and the ones i do get people flake so i'm gonna put another um vq 35 de which is like the regular motor not the hr nothing i'm just gonna put it back in and make it plug and play and i probably keep that for a month or two and then get rid of that and then i'm gonna start on my off-road build because i plan on getting either a forerunner or a tacoma and building a sick ass off-road car and do a bunch of outdoors um, activities and things like that. So that's my plans for the 350 right now for the car situation. So now on to my um, scooter. Um, I stripped it all down. Basically all I have left to do is wire the switches and then put the motor in. I've kind of been holding off on wiring the switches because I'd hate to wire something wrong and have it all messed up and I can't figure out the problems such as example A. I don't want to fuck with wiring. So I'm gonna leave it all as is right now until I get the motor, plug it running, then worry about the wiring and doing all the little details under glow, cage, wheelie bar, 12 bar, all that stuff. So I'm probably gonna end up buying my GY6 150 motor for my scooter probably sometime next week. So I should be getting that in about two weeks from now. Put that in and that's gonna do it for the scooter. For the, the Z125, I'm ordering an exhaust soon and um, a rear handbrake and uh, like the wheelie pegs for that. That's the only plans I have for that. For the bug, um, a new transmission. I'm getting a custom built transmission because the transmission I have in this car right now is a stock one. When I built this car, I basically, um, I put all my money into the motor and everything else and I didn't have money for a transmission and uh, the gear ratio just sucks on it. So transmission for that soon. And that's like probably like pretty much the last of my to-do list because that's really not um, anything major. That car is just like my weekend car. So. If I don't have that, I'm not too upset, but I definitely need a daily driver again. An update on everything. The rest of this video is me and RJ working on his scooter again, like part five, and um, we failed. And it's miserable, and we need your help. And I mean, we tried everything. I really don't know what else to try. There's a guy that I've been talking to on Facebook who lives here in Vegas who's a subscriber. He's willing to come help us. He said to hook him up with like a mop boy sticker or something like that. I only have like a couple hours out of the week to work on projects, and I don't want to spend any more of my time working on this scooter, just trying to figure it out running. I'd rather spend the time wheeling and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get this guy to help us, hopefully figure this out, get it over with so we can get you guys cooler videos and everything like that. But that's all, so I'm gonna put the rest of this video as the fail and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. So today's mission and only mission is to finally get RJ's scooter here started because I think I figured out the problem. I was sitting down at work today and I, you know, I, I think it came to me. I think the solution came to me. My theory is that we know it has problems with starting in general, but once it gets started, it dies out when we give it gas. Okay. So when we give it gas, now I believe that is because we don't have a fuel pet cock right here and it's supposed to be sucking in fuel from the intake on the carburetor and that's what pulls the fuel in when we give it uh, the throttle. So we don't have one of those, so it's not feeding fuel in according to how much air it's sucking in. So when we give this some throttle here, it sucks in a bunch of air and not any fuel to compensate how much air is being sucked into the carburetor. Make sense? I feel, like a, I feel like a super scientist. I just said all that Wait, shit in so one go. This one? I'm we'll calling it by. Yes. This one. Yeah, but you gotta put in all the other ones too. You gotta take out the screw. So far, we're looking good today. We got some good luck. And my neighbor just brought us a bunch of cookies. And uh, we have RJ over here wiring up his battery. I'm, I don't know if I should worry about the kill switch now, if I should cut this back. Probably not. We'll see if this works first. I'm gonna go find your uh, fuel pack. This is the, uh, the pet cock that I was talking about. Hopefully, this is our problem. For everybody ask, Karachi's, Triple Blacks. 
a lot of people ask for my shoes. These are the Harachi Triple Buck. Find one comment where someone asked me. Alright guys, prove to everyone and comment about my Harachis. Is that gas? Yeah, gas. My chest. Fuck. I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> no. I'm fucked. I can't get it. No. Pinch the line somehow if you can somewhere. So after, uh, what, probably 10 minutes, we got the fuel pet cock back in. Fuel all over our arms. Um, hopefully that might be that issue. Give it a couple cake roonies. Oh, shit. Decided to put the, the ground back in that goes behind the starter bolt right here just to see because I, I can't remember what we did last time and if this one was the one that worked or not. I think it was. But basically it's not starting today guys. <laughs> I don't know what's going on at all. This fuel filter looks dry. Um, basically I'm just plugging everything into everything <laughs> and we're going to try it. Give it a kick RJ. So, I just pulled off um, RJ's valve cover and I realized how loose his uh, rock arms are. And I'll show you guys. And I'll show you guys. Wow, your spark plug is brand new over there. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean by that. These right here, that's like a quarter inch of play. They're supposed to be like so minimal you won't even see the play in it. So. That right there could be a problem. That's what we're about to see. So I'm just gonna get it down and uh, I'm gonna do the timing real quick and we'll see if that doesn't fix it real quick. Try timing the bitch. All right, got that. Now that's set at five. That's how it should be. Look at this one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it. So, hopefully after this, I'll start. We yeah. can go mob and do some wheelies and maybe, yeah, get some food. All the All right. And go swimming. Only if it starts. I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> Whoa. I'll this video. I'll never go live. I'll edit it. All right, bet. I know what to edit. This was probably the problem all along. It felt like a really, really good impression, and um, I don't know, man. But hopefully this works. Let me see. If yeah. this works, I'm robbing Toys R Us. And then I'll drink and be hitting wheelies. Yes, I want to hit wheelies, guys. You don't understand. Wait, do the lights even work this time? The keys on? The lights. Oh, y'all? Okay. Hold that brake real quick. Okay, for um, we just redid the timing, so let's see if this is it. How you feeling about it? I want to start so bad. Get it. Come on. So rough. All right, try now.
Dude, what the fuck? I think it's GY6 time. 